Hey, welcome to How To In A Few. Today's video is going to be uh, the replacement of these headlights. This is a Chevy Venture van and possibly has the worst set of headlights uh, I've ever experienced on any car. Uh, it's often difficult to drive at night. You can barely see the road. Um, part of the problem is this fogged up uh, nature of the lenses that you can see here. Uh, sometimes you can polish that out. I've tried that in the past. Uh, in fact, there's a video on how to do it um, on my other vehicles and I don't really like the results it's just not uh, worth it by the time you buy the kit for $15 and and uh, put all the time into it it's probably just cheaper to get a whole new replacement uh, set of most of the time it's plastic lenses so they're not that expensive maybe $100 for both today's set cost me under $80 including the bulbs and that's going to replace the side lights the headlights on both sides so Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at how we're going to do that today. And we're also going to adjust them uh, to make them shine properly at the right uh, angles. And we should be uh, much better off by the time we're done with this. So, Next step, let's open the box and see what we got in the package. Alright, so when I was carrying this out here, I actually heard some loose parts inside, which is not a good sign. Hopefully nothing's broken. Alright, so here's our new headlight assembly. Uh, one of the interesting things about this is that I'm probably not going to need any tools to replace them because all of the retaining screws are kind of uh, butterfly type nuts and should be easy to remove by hand. So let's go ahead and uh, start working on it. Alright, let's start by removing this side. Pop open the hood. And we see there's a kind of a butterfly type nut there. Another one here. And then there's a screw type one here. Let me check, make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Alright, looks like it. So, you see there, we are already have everything removed. Um, now there was some some kind of questions as to installing these uh, in the write-up that I read before I bought it. So I want to make sure that I go ahead and check these. carefully All right. this should press and turn these bulbs, that bulb looks definitely burnt out we may have to get some more bulbs but I'm going to check this out and make sure that all of the clips and mounts line up properly so that it'll go in without any issues all right so the one thing i did was i moved this clip from the top to the bottom as it was on the old one i'm not sure if that's what they're referring to what i have to change there's a couple of stickers here And let's see, we'll now that 
that was not. <laughs> That's aftermarket parts for you. All right, now I'm going to move to the headlight. Uh, I would like to point out one thing that the description very clearly said it was coming with new light bulbs which it in fact does not have I'm going to try not to touch anything with these bulbs Unless I can avoid it, I'm going to go ahead and reuse. Nope, can't do it. I was going to reuse the retaining clips. New retaining clips in place. Re plug in plug. Okay, I'm seeing another issue. This is most likely what they were talking about. This just fell. So you want to be careful you don't drop that clip, but this clip was on the wrong way. Try to get all these little doodads to fit in the holes. So I've turned around this little clip after I relocated it and I'm going to reinsert this screw. Now I don't particularly care for Although it could be that it's just not adjusted right. I don't like the fit. Take a look at the old one. <clears throat> Alright, this is adjusted way down. We'll check that all out a little bit later. Alright, so our first set on our first side has been attached now. They look pretty snazzy. I'm going to go ahead and turn them on and see if uh, all the lights work. Might have to pick up some bulbs because I didn't check that first. Alright, so the headlights are on. I'm not quite sure that. Uh, I mean, they seem like they might already be adjusted fairly correctly. We'll check that out tonight when it gets dark. All right, so our blinker is not working. <laughs> not good. All right, so had a couple of light bulb issues here. I found an old set of light. I think I got the blinker working too again. Mm -hmm. 
All right, blinker's working. Resnapped. Gotta tell you here, this is a little bit buggy that I have to be so careful with this retaining clip. On the original one, the retaining clip stayed in place. On this one, it does not. So every time I take this off, I'm gonna have to be careful. I have to be careful how uh, that I don't let it fall. All right. That side's good to go. Hopefully we'll finish this up before it starts raining. All right, hopefully this side will go a little faster. And remove the headlight retaining nuts. And there's this one screw. This one seems to be a little tighter than the other side, so I'm just gonna use my key to loosen it. This side's really bad. This is the one that actually water leaks into and causes the bulb to explode periodically. Again, notice the clip is on the bottom. I'm starting to get dripped on, so I'm gonna <laughs> speed it up a little bit. So I'm swapping the clips now. Pull off these stickers. that this side works right. I think I'm gonna pull this out while it's cold. Ha! Huh, nice! That's most likely the end of that plug. Now I'm gonna leave it like it is. <laughs> Next video, <laughs> replacing the, the light socket. This one doesn't even stay in there well. Taking the plug off, I'm going to swap the bulb immediately to the other housing. Try to finagle this retainer on. There we go. Take away the old one. Again, and secure the new bulb. All right, before I tighten it up, I'm going to go ahead and turn them on. Headlights looking good, blinkers working good. All right, 
popped in place. All right, slide this new clip into place. Alright, there we go. New headlights. Alright, that looks like a major improvement. Let me back this up a little bit so you can see me better. Alright, because it's about to rain, I'm not going to do much adjustment. But I will show you how I would do it. The driver's side should be a little bit higher than the passenger side. So I'll stand in front and see where the main beam is. And then move to the other side and this one should be lower in fact it's slightly higher so we'll have to make some adjustments but uh we're not going to do that now we'll do that another day and i guess i'll make a separate video for that so okay so hopefully you found this video helpful it might have helped you out uh, i've seen a lot of complaints online about chevy venture headlights so hopefully this will solve the problem for you as hopefully it will for me uh, if you like the video please click thumbs up, maybe hit the subscribe button. That goes a long way to help out YouTubers like me and keep us making videos. So I do appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.